wokeness has reached new levels across the country, but it is usually served with some hypocrisy. For more on all this, I want to welcome in the author of the new book, Woke Inc. Take a look at this. Vivek Ramsway is with us this morning. Vivek, good morning. Nice to see you again. Good to see you. Um, it's a fascinating book. You touch on a lot in it, and it, it's funny. I feel like you could keep writing it because every week we've got a new set of stories. Um, last week, it was the, uh, the woke left. They will cancel anyone at this point. They'll cancel their own. They'll cannibalize their own. Um, it was actress Ellie Kemper. A lot of people probably aren't familiar with her, um, but she's now apologized many times for her white privilege. She had to apologize for her white privilege after she, as a kid, a 19-year-old, went to a ball at a club in St. Louis in her hometown, the ball or the, the group that organized this ball apparently had a history of uh, discrimination. We're talking about the, uh, the star of the unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Has it surprised you that the left is now going after their own as well? Well, look, there is nobody who is off limits for this new equivalent of the Chinese Cultural Revolution happening right here in the United States. There's a new red guard in this country who, in the name of diversity, has completely sacrificed diversity of thought, in the name of inclusion, has created this new exclusionary culture where certain points of view and even certain actions are just not welcome. Now, in her case, she issued a lengthy apology, sticking to the usual catechism, offering the standard apologetic lines about white privilege and so on, proving the way in which wokeness today is actually a modern secular religion. It's not a religion that believes in God. It's not a religion that offers a path to redemption but it is a religion nonetheless. And if we recognize it for what it is, that's gonna be the first step to finding our path out of this cultural infection. These companies, by the way, you know, companies that are, so remember uh, a couple months ago with the Georgia voting law situation, right? Um, all these companies, Woca-Cola uh, and many other companies based in Atlanta, you know, they bowed to the mob. Major League Baseball took the game out of a state with, with uh, a new voting new voting laws and moved it to a state with worse voting laws in Colorado. The Augusta National, the Masters Tournament, did nothing, and you know what happened? Absolutely nothing. Is that the answer? Well, well for, let's forget about Augusta National. Let's talk about China, actually. This is a country right. where Disney, a corporation that a couple years ago said it could not film in the state of Georgia if they passed the equivalent of a new anti-abortion statute or the equivalent of a heartbeat bill, goes to China and without saying a word, last year films Mulan in the Shenzhen province of China. Literally, ground zero, the epicenter of the Uyghur human rights crisis. There I'm talking about forced sterilizations, right. forced slavery and indoctrination camps, and they don't say a thing. And that's effectively how this game is played, where wokeness was its own thing. It was a countercultural movement that began in the 90s on the left, born out of critical theory. But actually what we're seeing today is the merger of corporate politics or, or even woke wokeness with capitalism. And that's actually when wokeness got supercharged. But on the flip side, what happened when corporations discovered wokeness is they actually discovered that they could make money off of it. And so now this is an arranged marriage between these two sides, not an arranged marriage of love. It's more like mutual prostitution. But as I often say, a marriage in which each side secretly has contempt for the other is not going to end well over the long run. A New York City-based uh, shrink, uh, her last name, Kilani, um, she spoke to an audience at the Yale School of Medicine recently talking about uh, some of the issues that are going on inside her own mind. Take a listen. I had fantasies of unloading a revolver into the head of any white person that got in my way, daring their body, and wiping my bloody hands as I walked away relatively guiltless. With a bounce on my step. I have fantasies of unloading a revolver into the head of a white person. By the way, this is, she was the professor, I know you went to Yale, but she was the professor of a course that other psychologists have to take in order to become psychologists. Two questions. What's she telling her own patients? What's she telling her own white patients if she has any? Well, she sounds more like a psychiatry patient than a psychiatry professor, but let's just put that to one side. Imagine if she had been talking about any other race and what the reaction would have been. And instead, we got a tepid response from the Yale School of Medicine after there was a lot of pushback after a few days. That is the double woke standard in this country. And I think that racism to me is racism no matter who it's committed against, even if it's committed under the name of anti-racism, even if it's covered with the veneer of progressivism, it is wrong and we need to call it out. Now, I think it's great that conservatives across the country are speaking out against woke culture and cancel culture, but in order to save our country, that is not going to be enough. We are going to need principled liberals, heterodox 
libertarians, apolitical people as well, who are willing to overcome their fear of their peers to be able to step up and say mm. that irrespective of whether we disagree on politics or we disagree about a particular law or whatever, there are certain principles that we all respect as basic American principles. The idea that you're judged not on the color of your skin, but the content of your character, for example, should be high on that list. And Vivek, I think we got to see... we got it. We got to leave it there, my friend. Uh, the it, book is Woke Thank Inc. You. We appreciate your time. That's Vivek Ramswamy. Thanks so much for being with us. Come back and see us soon. Hey, thanks. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.